Welcome back to the hour show. More of Marlene Green, my friend, longtime friend, and uh, sweetheart. We, we left it uh, where we talk about how the way you see things is not always the way they are. Well, everyone has a different reality That's right. to how they see things. That's right. And their way of how they see things comes from the way they were raised, their beliefs. What, they were, what they were shown, That's right. and what their reality is. Yes. And what transformation is about is not changing, but seeing all the openings there are for you to actually be able to become aware and make a decision. That's the beauty of transformation. That is it's beautiful. transforming the way you see things, not changing the way you see things. And if you don't like, if you have so many options in seeing things, mm -hmm. so it opens up so many doors for you. So it's a big thing. It's a very big thing. And it's simple, but it's very difficult because you really have to be open to be trained and yes. practice. And I think the, the hardest yes. is that it's not making your mother and father wrong no. or the way you were raised wrong. It's not, it's not betraying anybody. Yes. It's just making your own decisions. But how to, how to get even there? I mean, how many people do you talk with? And they can see that for them, first of all, yes, they, a lot of people don't see transformation, which is the meaning of getting what you have and just opening up to another horizon. They, they hear change. That's all they hear. You talk to somebody, all they hear is like, oh, you want to change me. How to even make them see that it's not about changing anything? You know, it's so funny because in my world that I live in, yes. I'm a coach, so I, they want change by the time they meet me. Yes. And even if they don't want change, like I'm working for a corporation, mm -hmm. I think people today are more open to change, but change maybe is too big of a word. Yes. Maybe people are open to seeing new possibilities. Yes. Maybe the word is ex extension of what they already know. Of, of, exactly. Maybe change isn't the right word. I, you know what? I, change, I know. Even when you say it, it just energetically, this is not a word that opens. Right. It just closed. Right. I, I, it's ab about me. That's how I feel. I don't know if it's all of us. Right. But the minute you say change, it is so charged for so long. Right. With a negative energy. That means, first of all, you feel guilty that you have something to well, change. Well, and then you're, <laughs> then you're saying somebody's wrong. And then you're saying that I am wrong. Right. So, first of all, it's not it's seeing the, right. what we're talking about here right. as a change right. for you. It's an opening. It's New an opening. openings. Openings. New openings to And awareness. who doesn't need that? Right. All your lifetime, you, you, you want more. Right. Open and, up to and, more. And I actually would like to use a different word than need. I want, because once need comes in, then it's a survival. Yes. And listen, I needed it. I yes. felt like I needed it. Not yes. all people need it. Yes. I would say that if you want to extend yourself in business, you want to extend yourself personally, you want to open up new ways of living. You want to travel the world. Yes. You there. It, transformation occurs. Transformation occurs yeah. Yeah. as soon as you see something new. Yeah. You've transformed what you already know to something bigger, bigger. more exciting. That's maybe. right. Yeah. Or you're able to say, no, no, this was a dream. <laughs> I don't want this dream anymore. This dream doesn't work. Let's go to another and, dream. And transformation allows that too. Yeah, it, awareness yes. is choice. It's choice. Awareness is choice. Totally. You just, instead of being in the back seat of the car, now you're in the front right. seat. You, you can see you the one controlling this mind, and, the, and, and that's it. You, right. you have a choice to make, which when you are in a place where you don't think you should change anything or cannot change anything, doesn't open yourself to anything else, you're not in control. Right. You're not in control. Right. You know, your mind is controlling you. And you want to be the, the my, your mind's boss. <laughs> well, we want to be our mind's boss, but we want to be our mind's boss educated. Educated. So um, actually from all this transformation I did, I've created a book 
that soon will be out. And I called it. I know. I'm just, so you know, happy, now, excited for you. But I'm so into you. it now. It's like I don't even know what this is anymore. <laughs> but I'm getting there. And okay. and, and it's really about invisible conversations because all the training I've had in image Mm -hmm. and in transformation and in spirituality and psychologically and all the things I've done, Mm -hmm. I really saw Mm -hmm. that it's what is that conversation we have in our head that stops us. That's right. And we think that people don't know we're having that conversation but we are. Oh, so, we are so transparent. So transparent. So, so how, transparent. how do we change that conversation? So I created these distinctions that I think with exercises at the end of every chapter, which the whole book is maybe 50 pages. So it's real simple. Oh, that's great. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, tell, tell me more. Little details about okay, what we... Okay, little details. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I've created seven distinctions, and I'm calling it either distinctions or keys mm-hmm. or awarenesses. I haven't decided what we're calling them yet. Yes. But the, the ones, and with a quote next to each one, and focus is one of them. Yes. Connection mm-hmm. is another one. Mm-hmm. I want to actually say connection slash engaging. Yes. I want to put that together. That's, that's, that's good. Yes. Because if you connect, but yet you're not engaging that connection, so, I mean, yeah, you're right. not... Uh, you're not really yeah. <laughs> And then there's boundaries. And someone yes. asked me the other day, what does boundaries have to do with it? And I said, well, if someone's in your face like this, yes. do you want to push them away? So where, that's what right. are they thinking? That's right. What thought is going on in their mind? Or that's if someone right. allows you to, to push, if you allow people to push you around, it has to be that there's some kind of shame or not confidence in you. That's right. So boundaries have a lot to, to do, do with the visible conversation. Yes. Then appearance, yes. no matter what we want to say, the way we look matters. Reflects who we are. It does. It and does. It, it doesn't mean, this isn't about being a fashion model. No. This is about no. reflecting who you are. No, absolutely. It, it, and you wouldn't buy a house if it didn't look the way you wanted it to. You wouldn't That's buy right. a car if it didn't look the way you wanted it to. Absolutely. So why would anyone buy you if you didn't look the way you wanted it to? You know? And I think it was Oscar Wilde said that only a shallow person would think that appearance doesn't mean anything. You are so <laughs> crazy. I love that book already. We'll talk more about the ebook from Marlene Green. 